twirling in white dresses and waltzing with your dance partner. You're so pretty! It's a milestone that seemed unattainable for many people with disabilities. Christine Davis always dreamed of giving her granddaughter Caitlin a debutante debut, but found traditional balls didn't accommodate the 19-year-old's disability. So she helped organise Coffs Harbour's first all-inclusive debutante ball. My vision was to have a debutante ball so Caitlin and her friends could all make their debut because it's something that mm. our young people don't get the opportunity to do. So to dress up, feel pretty, look pretty and enjoy a day with their friends being themselves. Since Caitlin joined the Davis family in 2014, Christine and her husband Will have tried to give her opportunities to live a full life. Because of her declining health, I'm hoping that she can enjoy the day and look to the future and enjoy what, what days we have left with her. And for some, it's a chance to live out an unfulfilled dream. It's been pretty exciting, pretty, you know, try dresses, the whole thing, working out how they're going to do their hairs. Lynn Legg didn't attend her own debutante ball, but she's now sharing the experience with her daughters Hannah and Tiana. Well, it was an opportunity. I probably regret that I didn't actually make my deb, and so I think it's a nice opportunity for them to come together and feel really special with their friends, and it's something they'll be able to look back on and feel really proud of themselves that they got up and they did that. You know, they can be comfortable with who they are. They don't have to pr pretend or um, people will accept them for who they are without any judgment and be, as I know all the other people there are going to be as excited and pleased for them as we are, yeah. I can't even start on this girl. Caitlin Carmody and uh, Brent Watson. And volunteer organiser Leanne Lloyd says the ball helped give many of the Debs a confidence boost. I know some of these people from when they were little and to see them grow and flourish and be given these opportunities and to be a part of that, it's really quite selfish for me because I tell you, I, I just get the warmest feeling when I see them achieve different things. But I believe what it does is it gives people in the community who have young people with disabilities maybe a little bit of hope that their young people will grow up in a community that really is supportive and um, encouraging them to do everything that everybody else does. The community is hoping the event will become a tradition for the future so the benefits can continue to flow for others.